Good morning. I'm Dr. Teja, a postgraduate resident from the Department of Ophthalmology at Narana Medical College, Nellore. I'm here to talk about the World Sight Day. The World Sight Day is celebrated every year on the second Thursday of October. This year, it is on today, 8th October 2020. The first World Sight Day was on 12th October 2000. In the international field, the International Agency for Prevention of Blindness holds the voice at UN and WHO for visual health. In India, the Ministry of Family and Health and Welfare has a program called the National Program for Control of Blindness and Visual Impairment. Visual impairment and blindness can greatly affect a person's life. The causes of these visual impairments can be glaucoma, cataracts, trauma, refractive errors and more. There are around 220 crore people in the world who have visual impairment out of which around 100 crore are either preventable or unaddressed. Other than these, there are around 260 crore people with myopia. Of all these visual impairments, around 39% is due to cataract which can be treated easily. 18% is due to refractive errors, 10% due to glaucoma, 5% due to age related and 5% due to macular degenerations. Of all these, 75% of them can easily be avoided. Visual impairment mostly occurs in people above 50 years of age, but it can affect anybody at all ages. When it comes to children, they rarely complain directly. They may complain of headaches and of eye strain. Children rarely notice visual impairment in a single eye. Hence, if left untreated, this can lead to a permanent damage called amblyopia. Children may have refractive errors due to which they cannot see the blackboard and hence perform poorly in the classroom. They may not be able to see objects or people in the playground which may cause them to not develop properly socially. That is, it inhibits their social skills. All these can be solved with glasses. When it comes to young people, young people are prone to a repeated eye strain due to prolonged fixation of devices, phones, gadgets and books, especially with poor, poor visual health. Visual health refers to the day-to-day -day practices which help lessen the burden and strain on the eyes. It could be studying in a well-lit room or it could be taking frequent breaks while watching gadgets or phones and other screens. There are people who are above 40 years of age usually complaining of loss of sight of things that are close to them, such as they are unable to read newspapers and do works that are close to them. This might be due to presbyopia, which can be treated easily. Older people above the age of 50 and 55 may complain of haziness and gradual loss of vision. This may be due to cataract. Cataract is the opacification of the natural lens in the eye and it prevents light from entering into the eye. They may be unable to see objects and trip and fall over them and have frequent falls leading to fractures and sometimes something fatal. At later stages of cataract, they may, unable, they may be unable to see even stuff closer to them, causing them to have frequent cuts, burns and bruises. All of this can be treated with a simple surgical procedure that removes the cataract and places an artificial lens in the eye. Frequent eye checkups can help diagnose and treat visual impairments. On this World Sight Day, I urge you all to spread awareness, which can not only save the sight of the ones dear to you, but can also save the sight of many more. Thank you.